In this video, we're going to take a look at uh, tabs in Word 2013. And before we start uh, working with tabs, one thing that you probably want to do is make sure that your ruler is visible because this is where the tabs appear, the tab stops appear. And uh, if it's not visible, the way you make it visible is go to your view tab and there's a checkbox over here for ruler. And if you turn that off, the ruler goes away. If you turn it on, uh, the ruler appears. Uh, I know you've got a couple of other options here too, uh, grid lines and navigation pane, and uh, I normally leave both of those off. Uh, so we've got a ruler here. Probably the easiest way to uh, play with tabs, first of all, uh, is just go and insert uh, a header, and we'll just do a blank header, and I'm going to delete the placeholder that's there. And when you create a header, it automatically puts two tab stops for you in the header so that you can center things and so that you can right align things. Now, left aligning is easy. You just start typing at the beginning of the line. But if you want to center something, here's a center tab stop. It's a little upside down T. And here is a right tab stop. It's a backwards L. And just hit the tab key and it takes you to the next tab stop and if it's a center tab then that means I'm gonna click here everything that you type now I don't know if I can type or I can't type with the mouse down but if I whatever I type here remains precisely centered right underneath that tab character and if I hit tab again and now I'm underneath this tab stop so if I start typing things in that's a right tab stop and if I click on it uh, it'll draw a line down here showing me where everything is going to be right aligned. So I could do, you know, I can do left stuff and hit tab and whatever I type now is going to be aligned underneath this center tab and I can hit tab again and whatever I type now is going to be aligned underneath this right tab. So uh, this shows you how center tabs work, it shows you how right tabs work and uh, left tabs are pretty simple. They work the way that a traditional typewriter worked, uh, if you remember what typewriters are. And uh, you can set them yourself. So I'm going to double click out here in the body of the document and uh, let's go s set some tab stops. Uh, your tab stops are kind of hidden over here where the horizontal and vertical ruler would intersect. And if you click on this, it cycles through all of the different tab stop settings that you can have and uh, even though it's got about seven of them we're only going to do uh, the first four here the left tab the right tab uh, the decimal tab and I think I missed the center tab let's try that again left tab center tab right tab that's the decimal tab it looks like a center tab but there's a little dot next to it and then there are three other characters that we're not going to worry about. Um, we're just concerned about setting tabs. So what you do is you cycle through here. It'd be kind of nice if they had a list of all of them and you just pick the one that you wanted, but they don't. You have to cycle through them and stop on the tab type that you want. So if I want a left tab, uh, make sure the left tab is visible here and then click over here. And if I hit tab, it takes me over to the one inch mark. And it's a left tab, so whatever I type is going to be left aligned. I have to remember to hit the tab key down at the beginning of a new line. But if I do, it always takes me over to that one inch mark. Okay, so that's how left tabs work. And if I want to change it, uh, one nice thing is it's really easy to change it after the fact. Uh, you can select all of your text and you can go up here and you can drag this to wherever you want and that'll reset the tab stop for you. Okay. Now let's uh, hit the enter key a couple of times and notice whenever you hit the enter key uh, whatever formatting you had on the current line carries over to the next line. So I had a left tab stop at the one and a half inch mark so I'm going to have a left tab stop at the one and a half inch mark as long as I keep hitting the enter key. Now if I go down here and just double click um, I got there without hitting the enter key and now I'm back to my default line and by the way your default line uh, every time you hit the tab 
uh, it takes you over half an inch okay so the default tab stops uh, are every half inch there used to be in pre uh, previous versions of word there used to be a little tiny hash mark uh, right below the ruler here that showed you where the default tab stops were but apparently uh, that's been removed from Word 2013. So those are the default tab stops. And um, by the way, let's go back up here and where I had a tab stop set at the one and a half inch mark. That basically deleted any tab stops, default tab stops that were before it, but the default tab, tab stops after it remain. So it looks like if I hit tab here, I might still have room. Yeah, if I hit tab, it takes me over to the two and a half inch mark. If I hit tab here, it takes me to the two and a half inch mark. And, and so on and if I continue to hit tab every point after that will take me another half an inch okay so those are left tab stops now let's try a center tab if I click on this once I get an upside down T which is a center tab and uh, let's go to this line right here and I'm gonna click on the three inch mark and I've got a little center tab there if I hit tab it takes me over to that three inch mark and whatever I type now will remain centered around that tab stop. If I hit enter, the formatting for the line carries over. I still have our center tab at the three inch mark and if I hit tab it'll take me over that tab stop and whatever I type will continue to be centered around the three inch mark. Okay, so let's hit enter. Now let's say I don't want to go down a couple lines and double click to get rid of my formatting. If I want new tab stops on this line, all I have to do is go up to my ruler here and just grab that, click on it, drag it straight down, and let go. And I have just removed it from the ruler, and now I'm back to my default tab stops, which are every half inch. So every time I hit the tab key now, I should move half an inch. I'm going to backspace over that. Okay. Um, now let's take a look at the next type of tab stop, which is a right tab stop. Let's put a right tab stop here over at the 5 inch mark. And I was on this line when I did it. Um, be careful you're on, that you're on the line that you want to set the tab stops on. Uh, it's easy to forget and put the cursor someplace else and set your tab stop and then go back to where you want. And the tab stop didn't get set for that paragraph. Tab stops uh, apply to for, uh, paragraphs, formatting a paragraph. So uh, you are formatting just the paragraph that you're on uh, and if you want to format multiple paragraphs, you have to select them all just like you would with any other paragraph formatting command. So I've got a tab stop, a right tab stop at the five inch mark. And if I hit uh, tab and type some stuff, it's going to be right aligned. If I hit tab again, type some stuff, it's going to be right aligned. And it's going to continue to be right aligned. And I've only used um, one tab stop per line on most of these examples, but you can uh, put as many as you need. And you can mix up the different kinds of tab stops. Let's do a simple example here. Um, let's, uh, we'll do three tab stops here. And I'm just clicking through. So we'll put a left tab stop at the one inch. Whoops. Went too far. We'll do a left tab stop, and I'm going to drag this one off because I don't want that. And I'm going to put that at the one inch mark. And I'm going to click through here, and I've got a center tab. I'm going to put that at the three inch mark. And I've already got a right tab here at the five inch mark, so I'll just leave that. So uh, those are my three tab stops, and this is the line that I'm on. And if I hit tab once, it takes me to the left tab, and I type some stuff. And then I hit tab, it takes me to the center tab, that's going to be centered underneath the 3 inch mark. I hit tab again, that's going to be right aligned under the 5 inch mark. Hit enter, the tab stops carry over. So if I hit tab and type some more stuff, this is going to be left aligned. Hit tab, type some more stuff, that's going to be center aligned. Hit tab, type some more stuff, and it's going to be right aligned. And I will continue to get that as long as I keep hitting the enter key. So you can, you can mix them up and set them any place you want to up there. Um, in general, uh, you should set your own tab stops and not rely on the defaults. Uh, if you have to go back and make changes in your text, it'll be much easier if there is just one tab character um, between your columns of text rather than multiple tab characters in between. So always set your own tab stops. Uh, before you start aligning text in columns like this. Now, one common use of, of tabs is, I'm going to get rid of this middle tab character here, this uh, center tab. And one common use of tabs is 
you know, to do stuff like this. Um, you know, type in somebody's name here, uh, like on, on a program. Hero. And hit enter and tab over and hero number two. And so on. And um, so this would be uh, like something that might appear in a program. And um, you know, frequently what you want here is you want to have uh, dots in between. And uh, you could type the dots, uh, but that's not the best way to do it. Uh, what you should do instead is use what's called a dot leader. A leader is a character that leads up to a tab stop. And uh, I want them to lead up to the five inch tab stop. So what I need to do is tell Word that I want to put a leader there. And uh, here's how you do it. Um, you can try double clicking on the tab character and um, that's not working. So if, um, yeah, it's not coming up. I'm, I'm either I'm missing it or it's not available in Word 2013 like it was in earlier versions of Word. Uh, so go to the paragraph, go to the home tab, go to the paragraph group and go to the dialog box launcher down here in the lower right hand corner. And uh, you know it's a little bit of work to get there. It's not uh, one of your first options. You have to click on tabs down here and then it'll show you what your current tab stops are. There's a one inch tab stop and there's a five inch tab stop and you have to select the one here that you want to modify down below and I want to modify the five inch tab so make sure you know the one that you're modifying will be both highlighted here and it'll be visible up here uh, so you know by default you know the first one will probably be selected and that's not the one you want so make sure you've got the correct one selected here I want the five inch tab stop uh, it is right aligned and that's what I want it to be and uh, but down here by default you don't get a leader character but if you want a leader character click on it and you can do dots you can do hyphens or you can do underscores and uh, if you want to do um, you know multiple uh, changes here you click on set you can also you know clear or clear everything um, but click on OK when you're done and it automatically puts the dot leader in there for you and if I go back here and I want to slide this over the six inch mark uh, the dots are still there if I want to drag it and, you know further over to the left here uh, it automatically adjusts the dots for you so that's a real handy feature of uh, Word when it comes to using tabs and the last type of tab we're going to take a look at uh, is something that anybody who has ever used an old typewriter would appreciate. If you wanted to line up columns of numbers on an old typewriter, now let's clear the tabs here. I'm going to drag this one off. I'm going to drag this one off. And now I'm back to my default tab stops. Uh, if you wanted to do um, a column of numbers on an old typewriter, there's only one kind of tab stop on an old typewriter, and that was the left tab. So if I wanted to type in the number 12.34, um, what I would have to do is tab over to that spot where I wanted to line it up and then actually backspace, and I can't backspace on here because um, if I backspace I will delete the tab character. So uh, what you had to do was uh, go over to where your decimal point was going to be. If you had two digits to the left of the decimal point, you'd back up twice. If you had three digits to the left of the decimal point, you'd back up three times and so on. Then you'd type your decimal point and then you'd type characters uh, normally after that. But lining up uh, numbers was not very much fun to do on an old typewriter that only had left tabs. So we now have decimal tabs, and I'm going to put a decimal tab here at the two inch mark. And a decimal tab, and then I hit the tab character already, so it's, it's got me over the two inch mark. And a tab character lets you type in something, and uh, it backs up to the left. And then when you hit the decimal point, um, everything after that goes to the right. And the, I just hit enter, and my tab stops carry over now. And let's do one, two, three, four, five. I keep backing up, but then I hit the decimal point, and six, seven, eight, nine, zero. They all go to the right. And no matter what I type in, 
until I type the decimal point, everything gets backed up to the left, kind of like I'm doing, like I had a right tab. And once I hit the decimal point, everything goes to the right, kind of like I had um, a left tab. Um, or maybe it's like a center tab where everything is pretty much, um, you know, centered around this point. But uh, it's not actually going to be centered because you may have different numbers of digits on, on either side. But anytime you need to line up a column of numbers, the only way to do it is to use a decimal tab. So that's a summary of how, uh, how to use tabs in Word 2013.